Hello everyone, this is Inspire2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Libra, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week, commencing the 26th of December 2016 until the 1st of January 2017. The first card for you is representing, the past position of your love life. Your card is, the Seven of Cups. In the past, it looked like your mind must be dealt with not only in your dreams but in the world of reality. Be careful of wishful thinking or illusions in the choices you currently face. The character in the Seven of Cups is a dreamer who is able to see beauty and excitement as well as fearful trials and difficulties in the future. If you are constantly caught up in your own dreams, fantasies, and or fears, we will never be able to move forward and make those dreams a reality or overcome those fears. Therefore, the Seven of Cups indicates that although dreaming is beautiful and provides inspiration for action, you must at some point abandon your castles in the sky and begin to build those castles in your real life. A choice must be made even though the apparent multiplicity of options seems to paralyze you with either fear or excessive anticipation. If you are unable to make a decision because of too many options, it is time to carefully evaluate the pros and cons of each option and make a thoughtful choice. You also need to be very clear about what it is you are working towards so that you can make the best choice. Make your decision with caution as all is not what it seems to be. Great opportunities may turn out to be major problems later on, while less enticing options may turn out to be golden opportunities. With the Seven of Cups, there is a risk of illusion. You need to separate what is real from what is illusion. Protect yourself against unclear or wishful thinking and habitual daydreaming. Avoid intoxication and escapism. Oftentimes, this card shows choices and plans that have little or no basis in reality. Such things are typical of the developed imagination, and fine if they stay in the imagination. However when you try to implement those ideas in the real world you are leaving yourself open to inevitable disappointment when you realize that your vision simply does not work. The Seven of Cups is also a wish card. Each of the cups is filled with wishes such as wealth, beauty, success, and a nice home, the castle or tower. However, not every cup is filled with a positive result. Some cups holding a snake or a demon and thus the Seven of Cups can be a mixed blessing. Be careful what you wish as you may just get it, and at a price. Temptation is associated with the Seven of Cups. With so many choices presented to you, it is easy to be swayed to that cup containing the snake of jealousy and cunning. Since this card is from the suit of cups, the temptation is likely to be sexual or emotional in nature, the one night stand, the extramarital affair, and all those other things that seem innocent and pleasurable at the time they are undertaken. But in the vast majority of cases, the pleasure gained temporarily is far outweighed by the consequences that last, in most cases, for an entire lifetime. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the Three of Cups. You are open to helping others, 
which in turn means that others are open to helping you. It is about spending quality time with your loved ones and your friends. It is a very sociable period. You will find a harmonious balance between meeting your commitments and spending quality time with friends and family. This is a great time to let your hair down and indulge yourself a little. You may be particularly drawn to the bar or restaurant scene, indulging in great food, wine and cocktails. You may also be celebrating something special, such as a birth, engagement, wedding, reunion, or birthday. For the moment, even though life's problems go on, you can take time out to forget about the hassles of the everyday world and enjoy the company of your friends and loved ones. Such respites are often needed before and after periods of high stress, to stop you from getting burned out emotionally or physically. When this card appears and you are experiencing a high level of stress, take some time off to recuperate, and gain the support of friends before returning to reality. More broadly, the Three of Cups indicates the end or conclusion of any problems you have been experiencing, particularly those that relate to your interactions with others. A compromise will be found which will serve all the interests of those involved and will allow for a more harmonious environment. You can facilitate this process by bringing about positive change within yourself and changing your attitude and the way you react or deal with what is happening. Treat the situation with compassion and give the benefit of the doubt where possible. The Three of Cups represents community and groups of people coming together to focus on a common goal for the greater good of others. You may find that by reaching out to others and banding together, you can achieve a huge amount in terms of sharing your positive energy and passion with others, benefiting the wider community. It is a sign that you should seek out other people to celebrate your successes along with you. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, the Three of Pentacles. The message of the Three of Pentacles is one of encouragement. If you continue to work toward the fulfillment of your dreams and do not allow disillusionment to dampen your enthusiasm, ultimately you will experience prosperity and success in your goals. You need to do work that is satisfying to you and that you can be truly proud of. What new beginnings are you experiencing in the material realm? Is there some project or creative venture you have been putting off because of fear of failure? The Three of Pentacles indicates that dreams can be made real with persistence, determination, and effort. The Three of Pentacles may also suggest that you need help to complete your work and can draw on the knowledge and experience of others. It may be beneficial to share your work with a partner but only if they are as conscientious as you. At the core of the Three of Pentacles is the notion of teamwork and collaboration. In the card, we see a young mason working hard on building part of the cathedral. The two monks enter, with their worldly knowledge and spiritual understanding to bring a new perspective to the mason's work. Even though their backgrounds, experience levels and knowledge is very different, they are able to come together to share their expertise in a way that creates synergy and improved results. There is no as and them or any sense of superiority. Rather, each person has something unique to offer and is willing to learn from others involved in the project. Everyone is getting the job done together and is contributing to the group through effective listening and sharing. This is a positive card to see when teamwork, collaboration and cooperation are required between parties with different levels of experience. The Three of Pentacles also points to the importance of feedback. The mason is open to listening to the monks and taking on their feedback on his progress so far. His primary goal is to do a great job, and he knows that the monks will be able to help him get there. He does not take it personally but uses their feedback and input to continually improve in his work. Effective planning, 
management and organization are also key components of the Three of Pentacles. In order to accomplish significant goals, it is imperative that detailed planning occurs to ensure that all the components are progressing well. This card therefore reflects a time when it is essential to create a detailed plan and to follow a schedule. This is when good project management will pay off. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is The Vision Board. This card is a fun divine assignment for you to visualize God's plan for you. A vision board can take many forms, but classically consists of a poster size firm, white background, on which you glue positive words and inspiring pictures. You can find the vision board ingredients via internet image searches or in magazines. You can even create the pictures yourself. Anything that helps inspire you is a wonderful addition to your vision board. It's traditional to make a vision board in honor of significant events, such as birthdays, anniversaries, the new year, or solstices. However, any time is a perfect one to create a vision board. You can continue to add to it as you discover new avenues of inspiration. Place your vision board where you can readily see it. That said, because the board is personal, you may wish to hang it in a private location where it's only visible to you. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.